Foundation's digital uh, projects. So I'll take it away. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Sherry and Kevin, for inviting us to Solutions in Action for the second year uh, and just for being a great partner in general. Uh, to get started here, my name is Jake Tui. I'm a senior digital consultant with Adage, Bennett Adage, for uh, nine and a half years working with our association clients. And I'm Joe Post, uh, Vice President of Strategy and Design at Adage. I lead our visioning, branding, and user experience uh, design efforts. So if you would like to uh, connect with us on LinkedIn, you can use the QR code. There will be uh, another section in the presentation where you'll be able to do that as well. But uh, who are we? We are a full service digital agency in Chicago. Uh, some of our services that you're probably familiar with, you, you might think of us as technology. It's in our name, right? But we'd like to demo some of our work that highlights more of the branding, UX, and UI that we've delivered for our clients because we'd like to help anybody that has a rebrand, brand refresh, website design, CMS project on their roadmap. So we're talking about some of the, uh, the world-class websites that Joe and his team have designed. So for some of the most notable associations and nonprofits in the world, and we're gonna walk through a couple examples uh, that we've done some of the web design for and give you a little taste before we highlight the three associations. So the first we're gonna talk about is Chicago Public Schools, third largest school district in the United States. Uh, we just launched that website this year, the Kennedy Center in DC, uh, the National Cultural Center in America. Uh, Main Street Organization of Realtors, just a uh, association in Chicago in the suburbs. Um, Athletes for Justice is the next one. It's a startup foundation founded by Sam Acho of the Chicago Bears, which we were happy to work on. And then the Metropolitan Opera, which you've probably heard of, is one of the is the largest classical music organization in the country. And the uh, Met Museum, famous for uh, uh, for their gala. The American Museum of Natural History, another fantastic venue if you ever have a chance to visit. The Monterey Bay Aquarium out in Monterey, California, and their sister organization, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch. If you ever wondered if the seafood you were ordering was sustainably caught, that's a place to, to check. And uh, San Francisco Jazz, another arts venue out of uh, San Francisco. They put on a lot of great uh, shows. And finally, the National Council of Real Estate Investment Fiduciaries, they're Chicago-based uh, handling a lot of proprietary data for their members. So the first example that we're going to walk through is OrthoInfo, which is really the web MD for the orthopedics industry. And they were in need of a new website, new brand, new design, pretty much everything. And when we approach design, we like to start by taking a look at the, the kind of the environment, right? And we took a look at all the different types of logos that were in the similar category. And we really wanted to design something for OrthoInfo that would really differentiate them. And in our digital first uh, branding practice, this is pretty standard for us to take a look. But what we came up with for them in terms of their brand mark was this really fun system that included both a logo mark and a logo text that works across devices and is really digital first. So it, it can scale as small as 16 pixels all the way up to the full size on desktop and banner ads and so on. And we also defined all of the style guide to keep it reined in and on point. This allows us to use the branding, not only the logo, but also as a, a navigational marker. So we're using the color and you'll see the logo actually changes color as you navigate to different sections of the site. And the little uh, element inside of it that looks like a little blood platelet also changes and moves and is animated. And that's the sort of digital first branding that uh, we're passionate about at Adage. We also um, really think the user experience is part of the brand experience. And here we're showing quite a lot of uh, rich media blocks and embedded media that really helps bring the brand to life. So we created for them a brand system, dynamic navigation, faceted search and rich media blocks. And, and here's the after. So the next example is the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. And when we got involved in AAPD's website brand refresh and website redesign, they had a dated site, a lot of information and resources that were pretty tough to find. So we, again, here we start with a digital mood board. Uh, we look at best in class designs that really inform our design choices. Our goal is for you know, brands that really can, can translate digitally and, and be best in class. So we always take a look at what's out there and we use that to inform our choices. But in some cases, like with AAPD, the logo really wasn't gonna be changed. So their logo was not something that we were gonna redesign, but we took on just about everything else. It's kind of an evolution of the brand and an enhancement for digital, starting with type, we chose really strong typesetting, bold choices with the type and the color. And this really helped us in, enhance the brand. So you see the, the color palette here 
again, with accessibility in mind, all the color contrast uh, works there. But really, at the end of the day, it's approachable, it's simple, it's modern, casual, and colorful. And what we like to think of is that brand is really the sum of all the experiences. When most people think about branding, they're really considering just the top of the iceberg here, where it's the visual design. That's what most people think a brand is, but we consider the brand to be all the things below the waterline. So interaction design, user experience, information architecture, conceptual design, the user journey. So we're highlighting user experience. And of course we focus on visually engaging as well, but we needed to address poor UX and content and resource findability. So the find a pediatric dentist feature was a big focus and it's right at the top of the page. It's also important that it works. So things like filtering for dentists in a certain radius or zip code, advanced options like searching by name or city. And another thing was building out a My Account section for members. It's a kind of a one-stop shop where they can find up and update information like their credentials or meetings they attended. And then we use that member information for personalization and the strategy that goes with personalization, showing people content based on their activities or their wants. So to round this out, we talked about a brand refresh, not a full rebrand, UX design, find a pediatric dentist and personalization. And there is the end product. The next example is the American Massage Therapy Association. Um, when we, you know, in addition to needing an update and a brand and overall website, they were dealing with a common problem that we see with uh, many of our association clients and that the architecture reflected the, the org chart, right? So we need to create a new information architecture design. We, put it, we need to put the information that the user wants in front of their eyes. Uh, and then for a brand refresh, creating consistent branding across all assets. So we delivered them an HTML, CSS guide, new typeface, refreshed their digital style guide. Um, and then there's things to consider like imagery. So you have photography and assets that should be used in some places, but then maybe educational imagery that are more appropriate in other sections. And in reviewing their analytics, we found that the majority of users were using their site on mobile devices, but the problem was the conversion rate was the lowest there. So at Adage, we really focus user experience design to be mobile first, both as a kind of way of thinking, but also as an approach. So we quite literally will start with mobile designs and really think about progressive enhancement to desktop. That really ensures that the mobile experience, which is increasingly the, the major touch point for a website is really refined and frictionless. So we're talking about um, mobile first design. I think I'm gonna slip skip here, there we go. There's also a heavy focus on the user and the user experience. So designing and architecting the experience so that member benefits were more pronounced, simplifying and segmenting benefits for professionals, for students uh, and for schools. So with AMTA, we talked about information architecture, style guide updates, finding a massage therapist, massage therapy school, a mentor, and then highlighting member benefits as the, uh, the main overview from that uh, website rebuild. And here is the after design. So you're probably noticing a theme and that on-site search is critical to associations and their members' ability to find content. We find that 90% of website interactions start with the search box. So I saw this the other day in, in an article, I thought it was funny, but it, it also applies to challenges so many associations face, particularly medical and healthcare organizations um, that they, you know, they're, the credible information that you put out there is not being found. And what we did, we created an added search. It's a little tough to demo because it's mostly backend features, but we developed an accelerator so that we could deploy best practice features with lower costs uh, instead of building from scratch every time. And then on top of that, you can use the money that you didn't spend there uh, for some more customized features. But at the end of the day, it's guaranteed results, baseline features that have already been established, reduces costs, it's tested, it's QA'd, and it accelerates time to market because it helps you get to federated search. And that's to develop a search platform that pulls in results from all of your platforms. And the goal should be to get the results in one search box and interface. It takes a lot of time, it's expensive, but you can reduce costs with this product and, uh, and we would love to talk to you about it. So to wrap up, um, we are offering a complimentary site assessment. Joe, if you wouldn't mind dropping that in the chat. I've done that, Jake. Great. Um, we, you can also just you know, screenshot this. You can use the QR code. We're big on QR codes, I guess. Um, but we would love to talk to you. It usually takes about 30 minutes. Here's our contact information again. Um, we would love to talk to anybody as it comes to websites, uh, redesigning, rebranding, uh, and just building out new sites and features. So with that, we are at questions. Jake and Joe, that was uh, great. Some great work you guys have done. Um, you know, the 
if anybody has any questions, please put them in the in the Q and A. Um, but what I have a question, Jake, is sure. I get and I just had a call again today of somebody who is in a process of a brand strategy with a company, and then they're hiring a web vendor separately and trying to kind of shoehorn the th you know the project in. I guess. What is your advice to associations? Because I'm sure you see this all the time where they, mm -hmm. where, you know, it, and the approach is very different than kind of this, the digital first approach, which of course I support 110% is the, really the way to go. But kind of what, what's your thoughts around that? Yeah, I mean, that's something we see quite a bit. Um, we like to be involved as much as we can. This is Joe's area of expertise, but um, yeah, when you're doing any rebranding, you want to keep the website in mind. I'll let Joe expand on that a little bit. Yeah, so that's a pretty typical thing. We'll see it commonly, and we're happy to work that way as well. But when we have the opportunity, I think there's definitely some uh, synergies, if you will, in having it all happen with a single partner, uh, especially at Adage, where we really focus on creating a strong vision and, and establishing good strategy up front for any digital project. There's a lot of overlapping concepts in brand strategy and digital strategy. And when you combine those things, it gives you opportunities like with OrthoInfo, right? Where we were able to take not just the, you know, a typical logo redesign, but we translated that into a full system that could be applied to their website. And it really does enhance the experience of the brand. And it, it carries it forward in a way that's much more kind of fluid, right? It lets you leverage more aspects of the look and feel and the system. So we're using it as a navigational item and it's also more flexible, right? Where the logo yeah. actually can move and be animated and it allows the branding to work in, in things that some traditional branding firms don't, don't consider as much, right? Like PowerPoint or video or banner ads where it's animated. That's really the, the key parts of a digital first brand is that it really works well on screen mm -hmm. as well as it would on a t-shirt or a billboard. Right, yeah, well, great. And one last question, um, somebody asked, do you, have any small staff association clients? Yes. Yeah, a few of the ones that we showed there. Actually, OrthoInfo, was a, it was a very small staff. The, the key stakeholders there were really uh, th about three people. So they're, um, they're under a larger umbrella, but they're, that part of it kind of operates as its own thing. And um, the Nate Creef organization Nate also is um, not a very large organization as think, far yeah, as they're only about association. 11 or 12 people, I believe. Mm -hmm. So yes, we work with large associations, but we definitely work with small associations as well. So uh, we're happy Great. to talk to, to just about anybody. Great, thanks. And Jay's asked if you can show your contact information again. I sure can. So we'll put that up. And then as we transition to Dawn um, at Planstone. So thanks, thanks so much, uh, Jake and Joe, and uh, appreciate a great presentation. Thanks, thanks everybody. Us. All right, Don. So Don's going to talk to us about solving client issues and saving time with automation, understanding, and knowledge. So I will let you take it from here. Thanks, Don. Do you see um, my screen? Yes, I do. Yep. One that says with the logo. Okay. Yep. <laughs> good. Very good. Not my email or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you just had a really snazzy presentation. So, you know, please get your expectations down a little bit. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to answering your questions.